is the Palmetto Ford Truck World Sports Desk. Come in. You'll get the best total deal on the new Ford F-150 at Super Duty. If you can stay up about another 45 minutes, you can watch a couple of Gamecocks <laughs> over there in Tokyo. Absolutely. You're going to see some familiar faces. You notice he turned to you when he said, I know. hey, can you stay well, up 45 well, minutes? Exactly. But, yeah. And also we're Gamecocks here. Hey, so. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah. And, right. and coffee. Wildcat. And Wildcat. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll get you basketball season. Anyway. <laughs> right. The uh, USA women's basketball team, led by head coach Dawn Staley of South Carolina and featuring former Gamecock star Asia Wilson, will face Nigeria about 50 minutes from now, 1240 a.m. Eastern. Eastern time. It's the Americans' first game in group play. You want to make sure and check that out. Now, speaking of former Gamecocks players, Alicia Gray continues to tear it up in the women's three against three competition in Tokyo. Gray's team on Monday beat Italy and China, with Gray stepping up big against China. Five points, six rebounds, three block shots. She's blocked a lot of shots so far in Tokyo. Plus, she hit two huge free throws in the final seconds. The USA women have the number one seed heading into the medal round. At Southern Conference Media Day, Citadel head football coach Brent Thompson talked at length about the improved depth of this year's squad. He was also asked how he would know things were heading in the right direction early on when practice starts. Number one, our execution during camp is any good triple option team will execute really well, uh, especially on the uh, on the offensive front. You know, if we can get those those offensive linemen. I think they're in good shape. I think they know what they're doing. Now we just got to go out there and do it and execute. On the defensive side, we've got so many guys returning that we should be able to move and install that much faster. Coach Grantham's got a lot of defensive scheme over there. If we can get it all coached up, taught, and rep the right way, this could be a really good football team, especially year for us. Now, in case you missed it during our early newscast, four Bulldogs were voted preseason All-Southern Conference on the first team, linebacker Willie Eubanks III and punter Matt Campbell. Center Hayden Haas and linebacker Anthony Britton Jr. were voted to the second team. Now, the River Dogs had a well-deserved day off Monday before starting a seven-game home series with Columbia. Charleston has won 14 of its last 18 games, and the River Dogs have become a home-run hitting juggernaut. They blasted 10 round trippers last week against Myrtle Beach in that series. For the season, the River Dogs are fifth in all of low A with 77 home runs and are on pace to hit 132 in this 120-game season. And that is a wrap for sports. I'm Mark Morgan. A final weather word is next.